cloud infrastructure for Oracle. So this is what is helping to train and deliver AI services. It's like a utility almost. Would rake in 144 billion over the next four years. Compare that to what we just saw, which is OpenAI expects 12 billion in revenue this year. So they're very different levels of cash are coming in. This is, and this is only one year. So four times this would be 50 billion where Oracle are bringing in almost three times as much using their infrastructure. The people who are making money are not necessarily the people who are building the models. It's not necessarily OpenAI. It is people who are building the chipsets, NVIDIA. They're the first company ever to hit 4 trillion valuation. People who are providing boring things in the background, like cloud infrastructure, it's almost a utility. They are making huge money. This tends to be behind the scenes because people don't interact with it on a daily basis. We're interacting with ChatGPT, but we're not really thinking about the cloud infrastructure. We're not thinking about the GPUs behind it. These support companies that are supporting the AI revolution are making absolute bank. Look at the companies connected to the big public unicorns. Another example is the Swedish company, the fastest growing software company in human history. They hit $100 million annual recurring revenue in nine months. They have an integration with another Stockholm-based Swedish company called Superbase. You can connect Lovable directly into Superbase with a couple of clicks. Because Lovable is growing fast, the valuation of Superbase has shot through the roof. Superbase is now worth a huge amount of money because it is a support piece of software for the big visible unicorn so if you are investing if you're looking for those kind of companies to get involved in look at the stuff that's one layer or two layers behind because that's where the really interesting things happen they're not necessarily in the public spotlight so it means you can find investments that will be undervalued again not investment advice but an interesting phenomenon